today we've got a new entry for the retard files. It is a Cosmo article that I saw on Twitter. It came up in somebody tweeted out. But uh, I had a look at it and oh good god that's retarded. So um, without further ado let's dive right into this article. Dear parents to be, stop celebrating your baby's gender. It's ominous already isn't it? Cutting into a pink or a blue cake seems innocent enough, but honestly, it's not. This is by Diane Stupria, possibly, and this was done in July 2007. Okay, and it goes. A few weeks ago, I waddled across a backyard in suburban Pennsylvania with a ping pong ball in be between my knees. After 20 feet, a woman I've never met snapped photos of me squatting over a metal saucepan. I opened my legs, released the ball, which tinged off the edge of the pot and bounced onto the grass. A group of women behind me let out a collective no and applauded my effort. I was the last member of a relay team in a game called Tinkle in the Pot, which pokes fun at the unexpe the, that unexpected mother's near constant urge to pee. Well, that's... These things happen as far as I'm aware, uh, baby showers. See, in Scotland we don't really have baby showers, so... It's not something we we generally do. We're a bit more reserved that way. Um, so, if that's a game that you guys play, well done, good on you. But anyway, back to the article. This game was the piece de resistance at a friend's baby shower, and if you're like me, a woman in her early thirties, your weekends are increasingly planned around these pastel celebrations and their games. And if you're like me, you swallow your feminist pride. Oh God. You swallow your feminist pride long enough to eat fetus-shaped cookies, finger-painted bibs in gender-normative colours, and support a pregnant friend. Oh, for God's sake, she's a fucking feminist. Yep, this is why it's retarded. Yep, seriously. Oh, right. But anyway, so... I've accepted that when it comes to the baby's industrial baby industrial complex. There are some things I'm better off embracing, no matter how antiquated or absurd. Why is that absurd, to be quite honest? But I cannot stomach the latest fad of the knocked up set. Gender reveal parties, it's a boy, it's a girl, fates, and have been economic boon to stationery companies and party supply stores nationwide. A search for gender reveal on ETSY yields 46,711 results. One former supervisor of a high end bakery in Champaign, Illinois, and I hope I said that right, told me that she received queries about gender reveal cakes once or twice a week. See, again, why is this a problem? You feminists are fucking stupid, I swear to God. You take everything that everybody loves and you just destroy it because you're sad, pathetic, lonely, angry women who've probably been rejected by an alpha male in their time and spend the rest of their time bitching and moaning and all that stuff. When you do realise that being a feminist is great when you're under 30, but over 30 you're just left to be the crazy cat lady and that's all you're going to be. But anyway... Yeah, right. But despite the popularity, the ritual is a lot like rousing game of pin the umbilical cord on the newborn. Oh, that's very un not clever. Cutesy in theory, taxing in practice. No, it's not, you fucking idiot. Uh, right. At the time when work, family obligations, and, you know, the dismantling of patriarchal social structure. Jesus Christ. Are stretching us all thinner and than Anne Hathaway in Les Miserables. Oh, you're trying to do a cultural reference. Fantastic. Why are we focusing our energies on yet another afternoon of baby bagatelle? Really? Really? You're going to use that? Right. Many other synonyms that are far better, but still. Anyway, laugh as we throw a sperm confetti at a mom to be, eat from this bassinet shaped fruit tray, cast your vote for the sex of our fetus. You're just a patronising cunt, really, you are. Anyway, all this builds suspense for that magical moment when the future parents jointly cut into the fondant cake, gasping at the surprise sight of pink or blue filling, or a pink or blue balloons are released from an artisan hewn box, or artisanly hewn box, my apologies, 
or a rifle is fired at explosives packed with pink or blue chalk. Because nothing speaks to the miracle of life better than target practice. Am I right? Oh, really? You're trying to be clever and that's just stupid. Diane, that's retarded. Seriously, there's no excuse for poor manners, poor grammar, or poor personal hygiene. And right now, you're breaking two out of three, darling. I don't, but you're a feminist, so I'm presuming you break three out of three. Just saying. Anyway, let's continue. But my discomfort goes with the gender reveal party, goes beyond my standard objection of fanfare surrounding gestational markers, which is primarily that because we don't celebrate non-pregnancy related milestones with the same enthusiasm. We're re reinforcing the archaic notion that women's value rests squarely in her ability to grow tiny humans. No, it's fucking not. Oh my god. Oh. Right. Seriously. Oh my god. Oh. We're reinforcing the archaic notion that women's value to squarely rests the ability to grow tiny humans. The issue with gender reveal parties in particular is aren't they potentially damaging said, to said tiny humans? No, they're not, you fucking idiot. Right, I'm not even going to bother reading any more of this. This is retarded. I've left a link for it in the description. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this, but this is a definite one for the retard files. And to be quite honest, the, the article goes on forever. I'm just looking down at it now. I mean, I'll put it all up on the screen, obviously, but honestly, I'll leave the link in the description. Go read it. It's idiotic. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you liked it, hit like, leave me a comment. If you don't, haven't subscribed already, please do so. And yeah, that's really it. My name's Alexander Kingsfall. I'll catch you in the next one.